Well, the U.K. officially has a new prime minister this morning. Rishi Sunak was formally appointed by King Charles this morning and will now form government with a big economic challenge ahead. Now, joining us with some insight is Mel Cap, a former high commissioner to the U.K. for Canada. Mel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Pleasure, Tammy. Uh, we'll start off with the challenges that Sunak faces. Uh, not only is it that financial crisis that the UK is currently in, but also the status of the party itself, the infighting, the divide within the party. Uh, what's the first step that he needs to take in order to uh, be able to rectify one or the other? Well, the first thing he has to do is unify the party, and he said that, uh, that that's his greatest challenge. Remember that he actually won the uh, election by the parliamentary party, the caucus, uh, ahead of Liz Truss. But then when it went for a vote between the two of them to the party at large across the country, he lost. And so he's got to build that uh, consensus within the par parliamentary party, but he's got to build it across the country. And how do you begin to dig out from what he is inheriting? Because it is quite the task to take this over now uh, when the UK, not only internally and within the country itself, is struggling, but also the image of that country internationally, uh, considering that they're now on their third prime minister this year. Quite so. Uh, there's been three chancellors of the Exchequer since Rishi Sunak was chancellor. Uh, he has to bring stability into financial markets. He has to show that there's an economic plan. On Monday next week, uh, Jeremy Hunt is planning, and I assume he will be kept on as chancellor, is planning to table a, uh, an economic plan, which will probably mean rate hikes, uh, tax hikes, and perhaps spending cuts. That's going to be very difficult to do, uh, but it's necessary. Uh, the UK has among the highest inflation rates in Europe. Uh, the UK has a, do a pound that has uh, taken a brutal beating. Uh, GDP is down. Uh, the uh, economic challenges are huge. And then top that off with the economic inequality that exists in the UK, and Richie, Rishi Sunak is a manifestation of it. He's actually wealthier than King Charles. Uh, but then also add the problems of the stability of the NHS. How do you get the NHS stabilized and financed without having to raise uh, rates and contributions. This is a, a poison chalice that the new prime minister faces. Yeah, and you know what? We're looking at all of what he has ahead of him, but to look at the appointment on its own, it is quite significant considering, uh, first off, he is the first prime minister of color in the UK, the first of Indian origin. It, it, it is um, a, quite a significant feat for him in, in that sense and for the country. Quite so. Um, there's a curiosity here. Uh, some of the media have pointed to Disraeli having been Jewish, but of course, Disraeli was not Jewish when he was prime minister. He, his parents had converted him to Christianity. So this is the first time a non-Christian has held the post. And the role of the prime minister is to recommend to the king the appointment of the clerical bishops to the lords. Uh, it's a great curiosity, and I know that uh, uh, the public will be querulous about how to deal with this. On the other hand, uh, he's a man of faith, and um, the uh, King Prince Charles, when he was prince, said he wanted to be the defender of faiths, not the defender of the faith. So I'm not sure what a big deal that is. Curiously, I've read some pieces where he, uh, Rishi Sunak's grandparents came from a village uh, that, uh, after partition, ended up in Pakistan. And so there's some Pakistanis who are claiming him as their, uh, as their own. Either way, it's a it's a huge feat for people of color, again, to be able to have someone in office who represents, again, a large part of the UK and, and London in general. Um, and, and remember, remember, Tammy, that uh, the Viceroy of India was uh, a Brit for so long, and now Narendra Modi feels that he sent uh, the Viceroy back to the mother country.
Okay, we'll see. Um, and lastly, again, you brought up Monday and uh, that economic statement and those tough decisions that are going to be made. That's something that Sunak had alluded to this morning when he spoke, the fact that very difficult decisions are going to have to be made. Is there a concern that once that is tabled next Monday, that we could see the UK in a worse off shape when it comes to the markets, when it comes to the pound and its uh, record drop? Look, there's always a possibility that that's the case. I think that uh, Rishi Sunak will now have to turn his mind to the budget, and he's had the experience of being, having been chancellor for a few years, for two years, uh, and Jeremy Hunt is a uh, an adult in the room, and he will do a serious job of uh, building the, uh, the budget. Remember, the first thing that Trust did, literally, the first thing that Trust did when she became prime minister was to fire the permanent secretary of the treasury and she said we won't allow the treasury to dictate well rishi sunak understands the importance of the seriousness of the treasury in building the economy of the united kingdom okay and we'll see if they can build that back up mel cap thank you so much for joining us this morning really appreciate it pleasure